Welcome back. We're here with Shine from Shine Face and Body Art. Shine just painted our producer Maya's face. It's very beautiful. Now, Maya, what face painting do you have on right now? So I've got a kind of peacock-themed face paint, perfect for celebrating an NBC show's anniversary. She did this in like five minutes, which is amazing. But now Shine is going to show us a two-minute version of the same face paint. And Shine, so while you get started, tell us a little bit about what type of face painting you do and a little bit about your business. Well, I do regular face painting like you see what you have today. And then I also do uh, waterproof. I do airbrushing. I do... Um, like Comic Cons, special effects, um, Halloween, that's my favorite. You so also a little do bit of body everything. Part, painting, right? And body I, art? I do. I do full body painting and henna as well. Oh my goodness. So there's a lot of different things that you can do and that you offer when you go to these parties. I do. And it's usually uh, my most request is going to be regular face painting. Okay. Yeah. So is that what we're going to do today? That's what we're going to do today. So like she was saying, we're going to do the same design, but it's going to be just a, a little bit different in color, and it's going to be two minutes as opposed to five minutes. All right, two minutes. Let's uh -huh. get started. Okay. Let's do it. So how long does each design usually take? I always try to maintain uh, between two to five minutes mm -hmm. so that I can at least do um, 10 kids per hour. If I do two-minute designs, then I can do anywhere from like 12, 14, sometimes 20, but I do like to... Um, Make sure that I sanitize between each client as well. Right. But two to five minutes is my average. That's now, awesome. with all the work that goes into face paint, how long in advance do you think guests should book you out for face painting? Well, as soon as they know they're going to have an event, um, they should start calling around and get pricing. Uh, but I always say at least one month ahead of time. Sometimes it takes me, um, sometimes I'm available the next week, sometimes I'm not. It just depends on our busy seasons. Now, do you remember having a face painter at any of your birthday parties? I mean, going to the fair, that was okay. my favorite place to get it done. That yeah. just really locks in that festive feel. It definitely <laughs> does. I remember doing that for birthday parties and like you said, fairs. Yes. So how long in advance do you think that somebody should start to think of their design? Or do you kind of do that on your own? Is it your creative process? I usually carry a board with me um, or like a word board. And um, I'll look at what they're wearing. Um, I always ask in advance what designs they would prefer. Um, but as well, I also, I also ask them what their favorite characters are. Um, and I just make sure that I am uh, well-versed with what's out there. So, um, so that's going to be the quick little heart right there. Oh, my gosh. Do you love this? Do you love getting your face painted? Yeah. Yeah. It's so okay. awesome. So we're going to do the same thing here. But because it's only two minutes, I'm not going to do the extra um, jewel or any of the like stencil background okay. that I usually do. So that's where that extra time comes into yes. play. And that's where you play it up with, depending on what the kids want and what the parents are already expecting and how many kids you have at a Correct. party. Awesome. So what do you provide when you go to a party? I, mean, I know right now we're seeing your table set up, you have your paint and everything and your brushes, but what's... What's usual at a party? I actually provide everything. The table, the chair, I paint standing up. Um, everything that I use is cosmetic grade, so I make sure that I have everything that is needed for the party. All, all the client needs to do is just make sure that there's a space um, in a well-shaded area so that <laughs> they're comfortable. Right now during this yes. heat, right? Yes. So that they're comfortable as I paint them as well. Oh my gosh, I'm just amazed at how quickly this is all coming know, together right now. She did mine so quickly too, but I'm interested to know, mm -hmm. like, with the pandemic and everything, how has that changed kind of your process and how you approach face painting? Well, as, as a face painter, we were always um, just very, uh, you know, san we sanitize everything, we make sure that everybody is between, and this just made us more aware. Um, to make sure that when we do set up at a party that we only have one or two people around us as opposed to the whole you know area being crowded as before but we sanitize in between clients um, before anybody sits on my chair they get a little hand sanitizer we sanitize together I, I sanitize as well and then you know they get a clean board and we get a they choose the design and two to five minutes later they're done so really it just it continued on the what you already provided yes. and the steps that you guys already took. Yeah, so we did take a, a long break in between and we didn't paint for a, a few months. Now, where can people reach out to you if they're interested in getting their own face or body painted done? Well, they can um, either Google me or look me up on my website. It's shineface-and-bodyart.com. And uh, they can either uh, click on the links that I have there. I have some videos as well, a lot of um, 
just a gallery of designs that they can see, everything from regular face painting to um, the special effects that I do. Awesome, Shine. We're yep. going to have to have you back on for yep. Halloween and Dia de los Muertos. We want to see all those looks. But this no is problem. done in just under two minutes. Alina, you look so pretty. You've got la nice little colors on your face. You're matching Maya, so it's perfect. Thank you so much for no being problem. on here and celebrating our Thank birthday you. with us. All right, guys, let's take a look at some of the magic being created in our studio for our set design. Up next, Ballooniverse is on to tell us all about their balloon design. Stay with us.